It is August 28th, 2020. Uh, I'm Gerald Harris, uh, and it is um, uh, 1 p.m., and we are uh, at the starting point of section 3.6. Uh, we're at the downstream end of uh, this footbridge, uh, which is very close to the skate park and tennis bubble. And the, the downstream edge of this footbridge is the starting point of section uh, 3.6. Um, it, 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 section uh, 3.5, uh, below us is the uh, the habitat rehabilitation um, area um, uh, at uh, Oak Bay High School, um, and um, now section uh, 3.6 above us uh, it is um, to some degree culvert. We are looking under this bridge, and then we're looking down a, a, a fairly long culvert under the tennis bubble. And then at the other side of the tennis bubble, it comes out into a, a deep rip-wrapped shaded uh, ditch. And um, uh, actually, I've just done a little bit of, um, of water temperature readings, and uh, I, I find that the water here where I'm standing uh, is uh, at today half a degree cooler than the water um, uh, just downstream at the lower end of uh, section 3.3. And I think that it, during this warm weather, we've been seeing water consistently cooler uh, up here uh, than, than down uh, a little downstream from here, uh, where we have a lot of um, of ponded, uh, open to the sky uh, and open to the sun areas in the stream, uh, whereas here the, the stream has been uh, in culvert or deep ditch, uh, shaded deep ditch for um, I don't know, probably a couple kilometers uh, upstream from here. Anyway, so we, we believe that, uh, I believe that, that we are uh, starting to see um, a, a, a pattern uh, of, uh, of distinct warming of the water in this, in the more ponded open sections, which, which may be calling for um, uh, denser and, and higher um, uh, stream bank vegetation, riparian vegetation. Okay, that's it.